Welcome back to Vlogflix. I made a video 10 creative cocktailized ideas and you asked me to show more about the easiest and probably the most impressive presentation using a balloon. But before we start making our adult balloons, I wanted to mention that I'm working on incredible cocktails that you don't want to miss. So please hit the like button like this and turn on notifications for upcoming epic videos. Let's go! I'm going to show to you a few different variations and point out on some possible mistakes that you can make while working on this cool ice presentation. For that, I will use three same size air balloons that will cost you around $5 for 1000 pieces. If you want your eyes to be clear, fill them up with filtered water. I would recommend pouring around 2 liters, but you easily can double this amount. Make sure there is no air left and tie a knot. Let's do the same with another balloon. I pour enough water that I can lift it, hang it and not being afraid that it will break in my freezer. Depends on your freezer, you can hang it on the shelf or just let it sit like the blue balloon here, but keep in mind that the shapes will be different. I held the pink balloon at the temperature minus 12 Celsius for 8 hours and you can see here that it was not enough because the ice wasn't thick enough and as soon as I opened it, water bottom fell apart and it's basically useless. I kept the blue balloon for two more hours and it was already better so let's use it for one of our cocktails. Drill a hole, remove water from the inside and for now let's put it back in the freezer. Best timing was 14 hours so that way ice walls will be thick to keep drink there for a long time but also wouldn't be too hard to drill a hole in it. But if you keep it for too long it will be completely frozen and you won't be able to use it for anything except maybe chip some pieces off and serve something on the rocks. <laughs> let's use the properly frozen one and make extra hole just in case if you would like to share this drink with anyone. Since this one shaped like an ice ball, we need to place it into something where it can stay steady. For that, I will make some crushed ice. And now it's time to make something delicious and colorful so it will stand out even more. In a shaker, pour silver rum. Let's go with 2 ounces of pineapple juice. Squeeze fresh lemon juice. For sweetness, let's go with a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Now add Campari. Fill up shaker with ice, oh wait, let's make sure there are no water inside and shake it with a smile like a kid that is about to get balloons with helium inside. Now we need a large glass, martini or margarita glass will work. Put about two thirds of crushed ice and place our ice balloon on top of it. You can lay it if there one hole, but in this case we need to keep it straight. The easiest way to strain it using a funnel, but if you have steady hands like a James Bond, strain it straight from the shaker. I will use large recyclable straws, there are no one to drink it with, I will do the whole thing myself, well not my first time. <laughs> you can make almost any cocktails in this ice balloon, I just would recommend making something fun with juices or mix Mixers, not straight alcohol so ice walls wouldn't melt quickly. I've seen this being served in Las Vegas bars but as you can see it's really really easy to make it at home. Prepare a few of them in advance, keep them in a the freezer until it's time to impress someone with this presentation. Let's go to our second option. Remember the blue balloon? Using the saw let's carefully cut out the top. This is an extra step since I messed up a little bit but you also can make some adjustments with the knife. Just please be very careful. Now it's ready, let's make more crushed ice. But in this case, you can use regular ice cubes. Fill up a balloon with it, pour gin. I will be using impressed gin since it's infused with butterfly PT. The color is pretty and it mixes incredibly with elderflower tonic. Lightly stir it, add the dehydrated lemon wheel for a garnish, straw and place it on glass or wooden plate before you give it to someone. Gin tonic was my simple first choice, but would love to hear what drinks would be perfect to serve in this topless ice balloon. <laughs> and I also wanted to show how you can use an ice balloon as a serving jar for shots. Using a saw, cut side of the balloon, make sure it won't slip out so I should be using towel for a better grip, ok much better. This looks good, I will just remove some imperfections and also make it flat on the bottom so it can perfectly stand on its own. Put a little bit of crushed ice inside and now try what kind of shot glass you can fit inside of it. I'm using the smallest one but don't forget that you can make your ice balloon easily double of the size and fit a lot bigger shot glass inside. But in this case even a little bigger too ounces shot glass wouldn't work. I found the shot glass shaped like a shoe, that's exactly what it will be using right now. Let's make a shot. In the shaker pour half ounce of cacao liqueur, half ounce of cream liqueur, vanilla vodka, almond milk, fill up shaker with ice and psh, 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 psh. Strain everything into the shoe, add a small amount of crushed ice into a balloon and place shot inside. Make sure it's staying steady in it and it's easy to take it out without spilling. If you would like to serve multiple shots, you can make the back of the balloon flat, fill up with crushed ice, place a couple of shot glasses inside and fill them with this creamy, 
and sweet shot. Thanks to all my Patreon people who support me every month with contributions. This is just amazing, guys. If anyone else wants to support this channel, please check links in the description. And of course, thanks to all of you who commented in a previous video, Mai Tai Cocktail Home Pro Expert. Our bar set winner is Nicey Boraku. Okay, never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you in the next video.